It's your boy Bishop, and today I'm actually going to be bringing you guys just a little bit of a review video. As you might have seen in my previous video, I updated a lot of stuff on my um, on my setup here. Okay, um, I got a new router, and I got the uh, PlayStation Pro. Okay, PS4 Pro went out and got rid of my other one, and uh, you know decided to upgrade myself finally to to the newer one, to the to the Pro, to the one that gives you all the bells and whistles that you know we all want to kind of have with our systems. Everybody wants the latest and greatest. So today I'm here to kind of review some things with you and show you exactly why I purchased the Pro and why I purchased a brand new router. Okay. Now to get started, I'm going to show you why I purchased a brand new router. You guys have seen it before in my videos. You've seen it in my tweets. Okay. No matter what I did on the old one, I, I wasn't able to get the connections that I wanted and I went strict a lot. Okay. Now I want you guys to see this. Bottom right hand side, NAT type. Is finally open. I have not had an open NAT type on this game since I want to say maybe when it started. Okay, I think maybe that might be the earliest that I had a, a, a NAT type that said open. So this was the thing that I was shooting for. It was my goal. Sat here, got everything set up, made sure everything was correct. You know, did some port forwarding and things like that. But finally, every time I turn on my PS4 now, my NAT type is open, which. Like I said, was the main reason for me doing all this. So I'm extremely happy I was finally was able to get that. So that was one of the accomplishments that I was happy that uh, all this new equipment got me. Okay. Second thing I wanted to show you, um, and you know what, to show you first, to give you a background, I'm going to show you my old connection status. Okay. Uh, a picture from my Twitter that will show you exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. Now, as you can see here, okay, I hope you can see that at least. Let's see if I can blow this up a little bit more. There we go. As you can see here, oh, that's a little bit too much. <laughs> ah, shit. There we go. As you can see here, this was an old picture that I found on my Twitter. I was able to locate it and see it. But you can see what my connection speed was, okay? 125 down, which is still good, okay? But the 3.1 back up is the part that was, uh, that was really bugging me because I pay for about 300 average download. And between 25 and 30... Up. Okay, maybe 20 to 30 up. Okay, so as you can see, I was was barely even half with my download speed, and my connection speed was, you know, I guess you want to say seven times slower than what it's supposed to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump back into my PS4, I'm going to run a connection test with you guys here live, and I'm going to show you what my new speed is on the PS4. Okay, so we're over here now. I'm going to go into the network. Okay, I'm going to run a quiz, a uh, quick... Quist. I almost said quist. A quick test internet connection. Wow, I am not speaking well at all. Jesus. I'm going to run an internet connection test because those words just don't. Test internet connection just didn't sound right with the way I was saying it. So shut up. My English sucks. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to test it. And I'm going to show you guys what the new results are using the, the new PS4 Pro. Okay. Now, as you can see, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I'm not getting the download, like I said, the 300 that I usually get, but still, it's double what it was. And the 35.8 up, as opposed to the 3 I was getting before using the original PS4 Pro that originally came, or I'm sorry, the original PS4 that I originally bought, I want to say, two years ago. I mean, this makes a huge difference. I've already noticed a huge, a huge difference when I'm playing. Okay, uh, you guys will see it in my upcoming videos. Just the connection is just way better. I'm not getting booted out of lobbies or losing my connections, and you know, saying that it wasn't able to migrate the host or whatever errors they give you. But I am ecstatic that I'm starting to get these speeds finally, and it's honestly all because of the PS4 Pro. Okay, I didn't know that it would allow this, or otherwise I would have probably bought it a long time ago because everything that I read on the internet, nobody ever mentioned anything that your uh, your connection speeds, your downloads, and your uploads would be better on the Pro. So. This was something that I was really was glad that I saw when I first did my uh, my connection test when I got everything set up. So again, another positive thing, and you know, just proven to me that the money that I spent to upgrade everything is well worth it. Okay. Now, finally, and the number one, absolute number one reason why I got the PS4 Pro. If you guys watch COD at all, if you watch competitive at all, what's the number one thing they complain about? Having to use a special adapter to avoid the Bluetooth interference. Okay. Now, to me, being a logical thinker. And yes, I understand money comes into play. I do. I completely understand that. But if you're PlayStation, if you're Sony, rather, and you're seeing that your PlayStation 4 is just getting ripped to shreds by people who, 
you know, are, are huge promoters of your product because of these LAN events that are always happening. And, you know, all these all these uh, games that are used competitively on your Sony PlayStations, and you're getting this one problem every time, and it's always a Bluetooth connectivity, okay? Here's one of the things that you can do in this system that I don't know if everybody knows about, okay? If you go down here to your controllers, okay, you can see here, communication method. Use Bluetooth, use USB. When you use the USB, okay, you don't have to worry about Bluetooth getting in your way. It's just like having your controller on your Xbox Ones plugged into the uh, into the Xbox One, so you don't need to worry about having the batteries or you know worrying about any type of delay again with those. Finally, PlayStation did something, and the PS4 Pro was the answer to being able to get your your controllers connected to your PlayStation with a wire, rather than having to have Bluetooth delay. And again. You're going to see it in my upcoming videos. The response that I get on my controller and the response that I get when playing is second to none now. Okay? The Bluetooth difference between cable and Bluetooth, I'm sorry, is, is, is phenomenal. You can tell a difference right away. I could tell a difference right away. Things were reacting a lot quicker. I was, didn't have any delay at all, and it's just been amazing. So, the point of this whole thing. Go out and get one if you can, okay? I highly recommend the PS4 Pro, not only because it is the newest, but you can see all of the bonuses that you're getting with it, okay? The the, the connection issue has, has been resolved where it was stopping my speeds, and I could finally wire in my controller and get the reaction times that I wanted. So it, it's it's a huge thing to me, and I love it, and I hope you guys do, and I just want you guys to know if, if you're struggling for money or whatever it may be, I traded in my old PS4, it was a refurbished PS4 as well that I bought from GameStop. And they gave me 180 for credit with everything. All the wires, you know, the power cable and everything else like that. Um, the HDMI cable, the controller, everything. I brought it back. They gave me 180 bucks. Only cost me, I think it was like 260 to upgrade to the Pro. So if you have the ability, I highly recommend it. This has been a game-changing difference. Literally a game-changing difference for me from everything that I've seen so far and everything that I've experienced. So... I hope what I showed you guys here today kind of opens up your eyes and makes you go, okay, I think upgrading is going to be the right spot because honestly, I haven't seen anybody review anything before. Maybe I'm just not searching the right stuff, but I haven't seen anybody review the bonuses that you get with the PS4 Pro, which like I said, is the reason why I was so hesitant. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something here by me showing you this and I hope it you know gets the rest of you guys to go, okay. I'm tired of my connection uh, being slowed down because of the original PS4, and I want to have my connection upgraded as well when it comes to when I'm playing online against other people. So, thanks for tuning in, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button, subscribe, comment below. I'm always happy to you know talk about anything tech-wise because a little bit of a nerd about that. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.